word alchemist, what comes to mind? Is it a magician producing something out of nothing or a scientist who's transforming lead into gold? Is it a wizard? That's usually what people think about when they think about an alchemist. But people who transform themselves, meaning they do the personal and spiritual growth work and they transform themselves, are alchemists too. In fact, if you apply personal and spiritual growth tools and strategies, which not everybody applies them, but if you apply personal and spiritual growth strategies to yourself, you're an alchemist. Why? Because in the process, you create a better version of yourself. You change yourself from who you were or who you are right now into who you want to be, a person that can achieve your potential and fulfill your purpose, right? That's alchemy. That's being an alchemist. Now, you've probably transmuted um, negative stories or thoughts and habits, um, as well as reactive tendencies. And in their place, you developed supportive internal chatter, right? Mental mindset, um, ways of being and responses to your life. And as a result, you became someone different. That's alchemy. You are an alchemist if you're doing that. You create internal change that impacts you and your external world. Now, what is an alchemist really? Like if you haven't ever thought about it before, what is it? So according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, an alchemist practices alchemy, the medieval chemical science and speculative philosophy that aims to achieve transmutation of base metals into gold, the discovery of a universal cure for disease, and discovery of, mean, of a means of indefinitely prolonging life. But alchemy is also defined as a power or a process that changes, transmutes, or transforms something in a kind of mysterious or impressive way, right? So personal and spiritual growth can cause that kind of impressive transformation. But let's use an even simpler definition. An alchemist is someone who transforms things for the better. An alchemist is someone who transforms things for the better. So you're an alchemist because you transform yourself for the better. And when you do that, you transform your relationships, the people you encounter, your life, other people's lives, and the world around you for the better as well. So I got the idea for this blog post when I was reading Deepak Chopra's book, The Way of the Wizard, 20 Spiritual Lessons for Creating the Life You Want. Prior to that, I didn't really think about personal and spiritual growth as alchemy, but Chopra writes, and I'm reading here, what is a wizard? Not someone who can perform magic, but someone who can cause transformation. A wizard can turn fear to joy, frustration to fulfillment. A wizard can turn the time bound into the timeless. A wizard can carry you beyond limitations to the boundless. So that was an aha moment for me to read that because I realized that my pursuit of transformation made me a wizard in my own life. Plus, as a transformational coach, I am a wizard helping others go beyond their limitations. So how cool is that, right? So what's the real purpose of alchemy? Chopra also writes that alchemy is about turning things to gold, that perfect incorruptible substance. And in human terms, gold is a symbol for pure spirit. Pure spirit. So interestingly, the name of my company is Pure Spirit Creations. He explains that alchemy is achieved when you have moved beyond all limitations thrown off all fear and realize the pure spirit inside. So that's the true purpose of alchemy is to realize your pure spirit. Now I believe that you can create whatever you want to create, whatever you desire, if you are coming from pure spirit. That's why I named my company Pure Spirit Creations. So you and I come into this life as pure spirit and we forget who we are. Our spirit gets covered up in layers of beliefs and fears and rules and expectations. And it gets buried inside our physical being and we forget that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So alchemy to me is the process of remembering who we are 
uncovering that pure spirit and expressing it. Because when we do that, we transform ourselves. And we become able to transform our lives, other people, and even the world. We become wizards, as Chopra would say. So those of us who feel compelled to pursue personal and spiritual growth, we do so because our spirit is calling to us from, from beneath those levels. It wants to express. And in fact, I think it's our job as human beings to remember, uncover, and express our pure spirit. And to do that, we have to become alchemists. If you don't believe you're an alchemist, take an accounting of the changes you've made in mindset, health, habits, relationships, career, circumstances in the last year or more. If you see changes, you're an alchemist. Now, sometimes changes are hard to identify or to recognize in ourselves. So if you don't see changes despite your transformational efforts, ask friends or family members if they think you've changed. You might be surprised what they say. I'd been involved in a specific transformational um, coaching program, a personal and spiritual growth program, for six months when um, I had a conversation with a friend of mine who commented on how different I seemed. I was like, really? I don't feel that I'm that different. I don't see such huge changes. I could only see minor changes in myself, but she saw major ones. And in fact, she saw that I'd changed so much that she joined the program for the next six months to see how it would transform her. So I want to caution you that if you're, so the point of that story was that I just couldn't see the changes, but other people can. So. Be cautious though when you ask for feedback from people, especially if you're asking for people who tend to either be critical already or who always say something nice, like they're never 100% honest because that's not gonna be accurate feedback on the changes you've made on your transformation. Now, if you can't find any positive changes that you've made in yourself, your life, or in anyone else's life, that doesn't mean you aren't a wizard or an alchemist, you are. Maybe you simply haven't applied what you learned in your study of personal and spiritual growth. Perhaps you have blind spots and need a personal growth coach or a spiritual growth coach to help you see them. Maybe you need a therapist. Possibly you've been too scared to actually change because uh, you know, anything different triggers our mind or to protect us. Things that are different are perceived as threats by the brain but you have that pure spirit within you and it is calling to you, asking for you to bring it forth, asking you to transform yourself. So put on your wizard hat and pick one personal or spiritual growth strategy or tool and apply it, stick with it, commit to it, and then watch change happen. Pay attention and you're gonna notice that you alchemize yourself from who you were into who you want to and know you can be. Now, you might transform just one old destructive habit like overeating into intermittent fasting, or you might transform you, your tendency to keep feelings to yourself into the ability to be more vulnerable in relationships. Perhaps you change your negative mindset into a positive one. That's alchemy. That's alchemy, and you can be an alchemist. So I'm curious whether you see yourself as an alchemist. Um, I would love for you to leave me a comment below this video. If you're watching this video on my blog, you can leave a comment there. But tell me, do you see yourself as an alchemist? And of course, share this post with a friend or on social media if you liked it, this video or my blog post, I should say. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am an intuitive transformational catalyst. I use personal, world-class personal growth called Certified High Performance Coaching and my own brand of personal and spiritual growth coaching called Inspired Results Coaching to move people from where they are to where they wanna go, to help them step into the identity that will help them do the things that will then create having what they want, or what they desire. So I work with law of attraction, with metaphysics and esoteric um, teachings, and I also work with hardcore personal development or personal growth strategies. Um, but all of that, see, the thing is that we need both personal and spiritual growth because we are spiritual beings having a human or physical experience. So we need to deal with both, right? In order to step into our best self, to become wizards, to become alchemists. That's how I believe it's done. 
So if you're interested in that, you can work with me in a group setting in the Inspired Creator community. You can find the link up above. Um, I offer high performance coaching and inspired results coaching in a group setting in the Inspired, result, in the inspired Creator community. So check it out above. Uh, if you want to work with me one-on-one, um, -on -one, please go to ninaamir.com and reach out to me there. Okay, so that's it for today. Until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.